I want to welcome you guys for coming out this morning. Thank you for braving the traffic. Uh, I am David Pezza. I am from a company called Track Weasel. Uh, anyone here like not like music? Right, what a silly question that is. We are a music distribution management company for independent recording artists. What we do is we're consolidating current distribution models and putting them into one social media platform that will help artists communicate with their fans and, and bridge the connection in the music industry. Uh, a little bit about me. Uh, I'm a record producer. I have over 15 years in the recording industry. Uh, I'm 31 years old. I'm originally from uh, Rhode Island. I live in Clearwater now. Uh, I've done over two dozen albums, and I'm also a uh, RIAA certified gold record, which means I've, the records I've worked on have sold over 500,000 copies. Um, and so what we're looking to do is right now our current state of music industry and how it's worked for the past 60, 70 years is you know, artists make their content and they get it to a record label, and that record label will get it to a, to a bunch of distributors, and then we, the fans, will consume it from those distributors. And what we want to do now, since we have the lovely internet, is we want to just bridge that connection and get the fans and the artists to connect and get their music straight from each other. Because it's all about the connection. Now, do we all remember what this is, right? A physical piece of media? God, we haven't seen one of these in a while. But there was something special about this. There was a whole experience that went behind this, and it's something that we're missing today. You know, a lot of iconic images that we remember growing up from the albums we listened to are still very present in our mind, and there's a reason for that. It's because we had a connection with them. We would pull the disc out, we'd put it on a record player, we'd turn it over and see all the pictures and see who wrote the song and who did what and hear, like, you know, their thank yous. And this is something we don't have today because all that has been replaced with these and all these different services that are combined, it, combined to it. So we went from having a physical piece of media that I could open up and look at to just having text on your iPhone screen. So where's the connection in that? We're just consuming music and there's really no connection to it. And we've seen a precipitous decline in music sales as a result. Since 2000, the, uh, the industry has contracted about 70%. Uh, in fact, globally, sales of music have uh, just uh, gone below $15 billion. I just read recently in an article. Uh, this is a, a, a check from one of my good friends up in Tennessee. Now, he's worked with Jim Henson, toured with Aerosmith. He's written plenty of songs and worked in the industry since he was seven years old. And this is a check he had for 10 cents. As you can see that, you know, the paper that's written on is worth more than it's actually worth. So, a lot of my clients ask me, you know, where, how do I make money with my music? And that's a very, very good question. I ask that myself in this industry. I've been working in a long time, and I've seen, you know, money slowly go down over the years. All my friends ask me on the converse side is, where do I discover great new music? And that's also a tough question. We have a couple of options. We have Pandora and we also have uh, YouTube, which most people use, but well, that's pretty much it. So what we want to do is we want to bridge the gap and help make a better connection with the artists. So what we do is uh, for $9.99 a month, we are a subscription platform for the recording artists where we offer them a website that links all their social media together. The, um, they can sell their music, set their prices, uh, allow fans to comment, uh, add likes, and uh, they can also share. And there's also a blogging platform that's built into it. It also connects to an event calendar, and they have the ability to sell merchandise, and they get to keep 100% of their profits. On top of that, we also do distribution to all these wonderful services to help them expand their brand and get more notice. Uh, but what about the fans? And that's another big important aspect. There's two sides to this coin. So we want to make uh, an artist discovery platform that will help route all these artists to, uh, I'm sorry, route all us, the fans, to these artist pages by creating a web network which will connect to a central server called trackweasel.com who will offer streaming and downloading accurate music charting as these sites will be able to dictate how many downloads there have been, how many comments, you know, how many likes they have, and so on and so forth. We want to introduce donation models into it because if you're streaming on a server, hey, if you like this artist, why not, why not donate 10 cents to him, right? What's 10 cents? Uh, and have it all be frictionless transfers and just connect them directly to the artist. So what we want to do is we want to cut out the middleman. Um, where we are right now, we are in phase one development uh, we are desperately seeking an angel investor because this is a high scalable business and you know, I, unfortunately I don't have necessarily have the pockets to really put this up right now. We are looking for around $100,000 of startup capital maximum. Uh, this way we can hire programmers and we want to get an MVP out within three to four months, uh, which will cost us around twenty dollars to $40,000, um, but that's using local labor. Uh, we can also you know, outsource overseas, which will cost us a little bit less. Uh, our marketing strategy consists of locating here in the Tampa market, 
Uh, what we're doing right now is we're proactively taking artists within our local area, producing them, building them videos, and getting them some branding recognition going. Uh, we want to attack the Florida market, Tennessee within the first year, and then we will go to Miami, Atlanta, and New Orleans and work our way from there within the next two years, as well as New York City and LA. Uh, we're going to do grassroots promotion, mostly going to shows and talking to bands and getting them to sign up for the platform, offering three months, and also doing social media work as well. Uh, right now, we're creating key industry partnerships within the industry that will get on board to help build this. The idea is to piece this all together, not build something from scratch. Um, we, over the whole, long haul, we want to raise $2 million maximum. I, this, this is a feasible number for us to actually become a tool, you know, build this company to something that's profitable because it's going to take at least 10,000 subscribers to make $1.2 million annually. And we also want to import learning support tools to help cultivate better musicians and help grow our artist community so they can create better content for us. So will people still pay for music? And to that I say potato salad. Because if this young gentleman can raise $55,000 to make a potato salad on Kickstarter, why won't people pay for music? Because it's all about making the connection. And that's all, folks.